Uh, are we on? Are we on? If so, then I am the Shadowy Blaze, and I am here to give you all a tutorial on what exactly? This very fine program called Pyra Alpaca. Now, what you want to do, I have a sketch prepared right here, um, and we're going to be using that as a test dummy. And for this, a little bit of word of advice, if you're used to using something like Photoshop or GIMP, then you have to create a separate layer because all layers are transparent by default. And you will have to fill it with white yourself. Do it manually, and that's, and that's how you do it for a quick word of advice. Also, name, get into the habit of naming your layers because if you don't, you're probably g gonna confuse yourself later. Like, you will confuse yourself. Um, this is the line art. I hate this. This is line art. I hate line art, but I have to do it anyway. I mean, there are some art style. There are some painting styles where you don't have to, but I like it. So, what you want to do is, I'll show you the tools for this for this part of the segment of the video, and I will get to the sketch part later. Um, this will be a series of videos, and that's how the breakdown is going to work. So, for now, let's just pretend this doesn't exist. Okay? Also, please note that in Paint Tool Essay I, because this Fire Alpaca is similar to a Paint Tool Essay I, minus a lot less complex tools, um, it still has a basic stabilizer, only it's called Correction in the English version of this. And yeah, this is the pencil tool. It is a transparent tool that the more times you go over it, the, you know, prettier it looks. Although that's just because the opacity is up. If it's not, then it's just a glorified pen tool. I hate this tool. Although, I, to, to the pencil's credit, it isn't as bad as pen tool. Like, pen tool... This is like the pen tool and the pencil tool at the exact same opacity. There's not really much of a difference, so I highly recommend that you I highly recommend that you put it lower opacity if you're not a tablet user. Which I am not, judging by the amount of mouse clicks it requires. Also, this program comes with two airbrushes different opacities, but again, you could adjust the opacity, and it wouldn't make a lick of difference at all. But, apparently it does. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this is what it, they do. I don't know why it came with two airbrushes. Don't ask me. I'm not an expert. Um, this is the watercolor tool, which looks nothing like a watercolor, until you realize that you need the blur tool, and it, then it looks pretty to make it look pretty. And I don't know how many styles we'll be using. See, now it looks like something like a water tool. And oh my god, uh, you know what? Wait. Uh, does that look like a... Uh, oh, oh god, oh god. I, I think I spent too much time on the internet. Too much time on the internet. <laughs> Alright, erase. Erase, erase, erase. You know what, just delete the layer. I'm so sorry. Alright, so awkwardness aside, I hate my mind. This is another tool called the Fire Alpaca tool, where, yeah, I don't, I think they did this as a joke. This is the default, and this is the pen tool. This is the pen tool. You will love this tool. It sh it'll be your favorite tool if you're like me. And, um, again, with the correction, you, the higher the correction, the slower the reaction time, the smoother the line. This is on, this one is on 9, but what happens when we put it down to something like 3? It's a lot less harder, to, it's a lot less easier to control. So, yeah. Uh, and the second pen tool isn't Fire Alpaca's Paul. That was, that was my fault. I, but it's useful. And then there's two eraser tools. I don't know the point of that, but okay. 
I mean, I normally click the eraser tool since I'm my native format is GIMP. I'm a GIMPer. I I'm a GIMP lover. Although it, I I mean, I could see why artists would like it, but I like all my fancy tools. Okay, I like them all. And yeah, that's the basic tools for brushes. This one is the dot. The dot tool, which is, I, I honestly don't know the purpose of that. Uh, and this is the the regular move tool. This is the gradient tool. Uh, this is actually the rectangular select tool. And what makes it unique is that you could just go like that and it fills. I don't have paint tool SAI, so if it has that feature already, bucket tool. Gradient tool, aka easiest way to make backgrounds if you're too lazy to do it yourself, which I am. This is the select tool. This is the select tool, and for like that, this is a this is a rectangular select tool, and just fill fill it in. Uh, what, uh, dude? Well. Also, the in the trick is it it selects the white part rather than the blue part. So, and Shift D to disconnect, and deselect. I meant this again. There's also a few tips and tricks like you can make it an ellipse instead of a rectangle, and this is the same concept here. This is a select pen, and then when you click the magic wand tool. Um, your selection that automatically becomes a selection. I think that's pretty cool. This is the select eraser, but um, it only works with a select pen. And then this is a text tool where you click is where your text ends up. So and yeah, yay for crappy internet memes. What? Also, it also has the move tool. So that's cool. Um, this is the move tool where you move around if you don't like this, if you're not used to this. it's This one's slightly choppier, but I end up using it anyway. And, you know, this is the... This tool, eyedropper tool, which... This is, by the way, this tutorial is for someone who's completely new to digital art. Not those who are slightly experienced with it and know the basic tools. So, if I be seem to be condescending, then uh, I apologize. Also, the correction tool affects the eraser, too, so just keep a note of that. It's a bit painstaking, but whatever. And yeah, that's all I have to show you, so I'll see you later.